evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very well, teacher, and you? Okay, I'm really good, really good, thanks. Okay, Leticia, how are you? Fine, teacher, and how are you school today? Okay, I'm really, really good, thanks for asking. Uh -huh. okay. Fine, teacher. Okay. okay, that's good, Fabiola, how are you? Fine, teacher, I feel homesick. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, Fabiola, but that's good. We're gonna try to, you know, to have fun a little bit with this class. Oscar, how are you today? Good night, teacher, very well. Okay, amazing, good. What about you, Flora? How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, amazing, amazing, really good. Carlos Herrera, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's good, students. Okay, um, you know, we're gonna start with today's class and we're gonna talk about, again, uh, the verb be in the past tense, right? Yeah, really good. Los veo ahí bien, you know, motivados, así que. <laughs> Okay, good. I know that grammar is boring, but grammar is important for our knowledge, right? Okay, Stephanie, how are you today? Okay. Good teacher. Okay, nice. <laughs> Pero le entendí, le entendí ahí. Okay. Good, thanks. Okay. Uh, Tanya, how are you? Okay, that's good. Elsie, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, really Thanks. good. Really good. Okay, nice students. Uh, we're going to start with this because of the time, you know, time is really, really good. And it's goal too. Okay, let's get started with today's class. Uh, we are gonna continue basically with module three, right? Module three, and the topic for today's class will be questions. We're gonna see question again, but now we did, was, and where. Uh, yeah, really good. Okay, yesterday class we were talking about was and were, right? But uh, simple statements in the past tense, but now we're gonna uh, make questions with WH, be it, was, or were. Really good. Okay, let's see. We got the lesson objective for today's class. I need somebody to help me to read it, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Stephanie. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn to ask and answer question yeah. with the cost of the additionally you will also learn how to express yours okay thank you really good okay the second one who wants to help me to read it me teacher okay, go ahead Elsie. thank you um, by the end of this class you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions Okay, okay, thank you, really good. Okay, thank you ladies, amazing. Today class, we're gonna see uh, <laughs> something related to years, right? Did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about this? Years. Years. How do you say years? Yes. ¿Cuál era Año. la fórmula ahí? Yeah, años. ¿Cómo decíamos los años? Primero el mes y después el, la fecha. Okay, okay, really good. Yeah. Special day, special day, plus yeah. plus on, plus uh, month, uh, yeah. plus uh, el día. Okay, okay, <laughs> this day. Really good, Leticia. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, but uh, Leticia nos dijo ahí algo muy importante, how to say the date, right? Eso lo vimos en otras clases. Thank you, Leticia. Tiene memoria muy genial. 
Pero years, solo los años, solo los años. ¿Cómo decir los años? ¿Los decimos? Desde el... Ah, para atrás, 1999, de 2 en 2. Yeah, 2 by 2, right? Yeah, really good. Ok, ok, nice. Ok, now we're gonna learn, you know, in, in a good way how to say this uh, years in English. Ok, really good. Let's see. And also we're gonna uh, use negative contraction. Ok, students. We're going to start with useful words, and now we have years, right? Years, años, años, really good. Okay, let's see. Okay, what's happened here? The years in English, how to say this in English, right? How to say years. Okay, what's happened here? Wilfredo, read it, please. Years are normally... Mm, So, divide, divide, divide in two parts. Yeah, yeah, really good. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay. Did you remember the regular verbs, los verbos regulares? ¿Se recuerda? Yeah, yes or not? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. ¿Qué pasaba con los verbos regulares? Le agregábamos... ED. ED. Really good. Las posibles eh, formas de decir esto era... Con T al final. With ED. With O con D. O con D. Da, con una D. Muy bien. O con... D, T, O, D, D. Ed, Ed, really good, Carlos and Fabiola. Ed, thank you, Wilfredo. Ed, cuando terminaban con T, un verbo, o con una D, vamos a decirlo, Ed, for example, want, want. Want. ¿Con qué letra want. termina? Con T. Entonces okay. sonaría... Want. Yeah. want. Thank you, thank you, Fabiola. Want it, really good. Entonces, esto termina con una T. ¿Cómo se diría, Wilfredo? Divided. Yeah. Divided. Yeah, really good. Divided. Ok, read it again. Years. Years are normally divided in two parts. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Wilfredo. Now it sounds really, really nice. Ok, dividimos los años en dos partes. Dos partes. Dos partes. How come? Let's see. How come? Let's see. Uh, aquí. Ok, yes. 19. Yeah. 19. 19. 19. 1984. Okay. Really good. Si leyésemos toda esta, uh, todo este año junto, como diría? 1984, en in inglés. Mm, 1984. 1984, ok, ok. <laughs> That, 1084. Yeah, ok. Carrera, ah, en cantidad, no yeah. en año. 1084. Ok, ok. Es missing something, Carlos. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Tania, like this. 1,984. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good, but that's good. Okay, in this case, students, remember when we are talking about years, we're going to divide it in two parts. Two parts, right? 1,984. Read this one, please. Okay, very good. Okay, Oscar, please, can you read this this year? 1652. Okay, very good. 1652. Really nice, Oscar. Thanks. Okay, Carlos, can you read this one? 
1941. Yeah, yeah, thank you. What happened with this one, Rebecca? Can you read it? 2017. Yeah, thank you. Did you remember, students, that yesterday class we were talking about que hasta el 2000? Todo. Yeah, in two parts. Del 2000 para allá se decía todo. Mm -hmm. But until 2010, hasta el 2010. Yes. Vale, ya vamos a ver eso. What I want you to see right now is this. ¿Qué pasa cuando tenemos un zero here? Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see. Hello, good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Reina, how are you today? Um, I... How do you say it? Ah, it's it's raining. It's raining cat and dog. It's raining cat and dog. Yeah, really good. Okay, that's nice. That's good. Okay, continue with this. Okay, let's see. Eh, look at this, students. Tenemos un cero. Cuando tenemos un cero, ese cero no se pronuncia, right? Pero Eh, vamos a ver cómo se dice. Ok, let's see, Flor. Can you help me to read this? Eh, when... Just yep. me, teacher. Yeah, yeah, Flor. When a year ends in a number between 0, 1 or um, 0, 9, then that last pass is pronounced... Uh -huh as the name of the letter, letter O plus number. Okay, okay, really good. Thank you. Like the letter O. Okay, Flor, this you're going to say pronounced. 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 Yeah. Pronounced. Pronounced. Really good. And basically this T casi no se escucha, pero pronounced. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Really good. Eh, ¿Cómo va a sonar? Como la letter? O. Oh. O. Oh. Oh, really. oh. For example, Flor. 1709. Yeah, thank you. You see, students? It's easy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Continue with this, Fabricio. 901. Okay, thank you. Really good. 1901. Thank you. Okay, when a year ends in zero, zero, for example, 1600, ¿cómo sería? Then. 1600. 1600. Okay, okay, 1600. Really good, students. Okay, congratulations. Basically, you have to say this year as the digit before zero and then hundred. Tienen que decir eh, los primeros dígitos, el solito, y luego, como no hay ningún otro número, hundred. Hundred. Yep. For example, this one. How do you say this one, Elsie? Um, Thirteen hundred. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Fabiola, how do you say this year? 1800. Yeah, really nice. These students is when, uh, for example, when you say in Spanish, se han fijado cuando ustedes van, van a vender un vehículo, una moto, no sé, cualquier cosa que sobrepase los mil dólares. ¿Cuánto quieres? How much? Oh, I don't know, right? Eh, the people say, ah, dame 13, 13, dame 12, 12 dólares o 1200, right? 1200, mm -hmm. están refiriendo, nosotros vamos a entender como 1200. Yo lo he escuchado, eh, se usa mucho en inglés, realmente no lo sabía, pero ya, yeah. 
Eh, when I see some movies, me fijo en esto y se usa así. When we have double zero, right? We have, we have to say hundred. Hundred at the end. Yeah. Thirteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Diría como dieciocho cienes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost the same. It's casi lo mismo. Okay, really good. Let's see uh, something important here, students. Uh, when we have 2000, 1999, after 1999, después de 1999, eh, teníamos 2000. For this year, you have to say todo el año. 2000. Yeah, 2000. Only 2000. Only 2000. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ok, really good. Eh, este del doble cero solo aplica para el 100. Después de 1000, uh -huh. ponemos 100. Pero ya 2000 no sería 1000. Ok, really good. Ok, for the year, this one, you have to say normally, right? For example, how do you say this one? 2000. And one. Uh -huh. Yeah, what about this one? Thank you. What about this one? Yeah, yeah, really nice. Okay, but what happened to students after 2010? What happened here? Okay, let's see the explanation here. It says, uh, Rebecca, help me to read it, please. Wait, for the first year after 2010, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you may hear uh, two different versions. Yeah, really good. Two different versions, right? The first one is, uh, as you said, uh, Rebecca, como lo dijo Rebecca. Okay, yeah, Stephanie Rosales, it's raining a lot dirt. <laughs> Cats and dogs, right? <laughs> okay, really yeah, someone does. Yeah, yeah. In my case, yeah, it's raining, but a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, uh, basically, in this case, after 2010, después del 2010, you can say both, right? In both ways. 2012 or 2012. After 2010. Después del 2010, pueden decirlo de ambas formas. Yeah. For example, yeah. ¿en qué año estamos ahorita? En In inglés. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay, notan, ya aprendieron cómo decir los, los, los años en inglés. Really good. Okay, students, we're gonna continue with this. And we got the boring part, but it's really important, was and were. Was, we're gonna use for singular, right? I, he, she, and it. I was. No vamos a decir I were, no. I was. And the third person was too. And the plurals, you wanna use were. What does it mean, was and were? Pero estar. Eh, I'm fui o estuve. Yeah, thank you, Fabiola. Fui o estuve. For example, I was happy. I was happy. Yo estuve feliz. Yo fui feliz o estuve feliz. Yo fui feliz. Yo fui feliz. Yo fui o estuve feliz. Cualquiera de los dos. Pero si ustedes ven así, in my case, in my face. I was happy, right? And that's not happened. Todo el tiempo estoy happy. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, really good. Continue with this. Stephanie, read this one. She was a nurse. Okay, what does it mean? Ella fue una enfermera. Yeah, thank you. Okay, notice the students is really simple, right? Was fue o estuvo. Nosotros vamos a hacer esa traducción according to the context. In this case, we are talking about a job. 
right? So that's why we're going to translate it into fue. Ella fue una doctora, ella fue una enfermera, ella fue fotógrafo, whatever you want. Yes? Okay, really good. Continue with the plural want. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. This one. Yeah. But you were at school. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. What does it mean, Tanya, in Spanish? Tú fuiste a la escuela o estuviste en la escuela. Yeah, yeah, tú estuviste en la escuela. Really good. O ustedes estuvieron en la escuela. Recuérdense que you could be singular or plural, right? Pero en este caso, yeah. no nos aclara el complemento. Thank you, Tanya. Really good. And we have the negative. What happened with the negative? Voy a terminar la clase. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos dice, I'm going to finish the class. Please, don't bother me. <laughs> no me molesto. No? That's, good. That's good. Okay, students, uh, basically we have negative uh, statements. What we're going to do, we only add not. Was not. Were not. Yeah. Auxiliar para negativo. Yeah, in this case is the verb be. Para negativo, the verb be. Recuérdense que el was and were es el verbo to be en... Oh. Yeah. Past. Past tense, really good. Entonces, acá tenemos the contraction form. Wasn't. 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 This one, weren't. 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 Well. Esta suena chistoso, pero si sí se dice weren't. Así. Weren't. Okay. Well. weren't. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see an example in order to understand the pronunciation of this uh, expression right in a negative way. And we're going to have this one. Wilfredo, please read this one. She wasn't a teacher. Yeah, she wasn't a teacher. Uh, this is negative, right? Ella. No fue. No fue. No fue. No fue. No fue. No fue. Okay, okay. Muy bien. Really good. Nice. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Uh, Rebecca. This one. We weren't late. Okay, really good. What does it mean? Ellos no estuvieron tarde. Nosotros no, estuvieron, no estuvimos tarde. Yeah, really good. For example, uh, Rebecca. It's, it, she's always on time, right? Ella siempre está a tiempo de la, casa, de la clase, así que she, yeah, were, sí. she wasn't late. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, very good. What about the last one? Let's see uh, Stephanie Rosales. Uh, they weren't nosy. Okay, thank you. What does it mean? Uh, ellos es, no estuvieron no, sí, no sé qué significa en realidad. Ok, no es ruidoso, ya. Ok, ruidoso. No es sí. Ellos no estuvieron ruidosos. Mm -hmm. Ellos no eran ruidosos. Yeah, no fueron ruidosos. Ellos no fueron, no fueron. No eran ruidosos. Really good, like this. It's ok. Ok, Stephanie Rosales. Uh, me alegra que ya, pues, ya pasó ahí los cats and dogs. Ya no se escuchan. <laughs> okay, that's good, amazing. Continue with this, students. Okay, um, we have how to, you know, make equations with the verb to be in the past tense, was and were. Okay, what we're gonna do here? We only Lo que hacemos siempre, right? Change the other position. We're going to change the position. How come? Let's see an example here. We have the affirmative way in the questions. Uh, the affirmative says they were happy. Ellos eran felices. Uh, la pregunta del millón sería. Eran felices. Fueron felices. Ok, ok, really. Fueron ellos felices. Okay, fueron ellos felices? Were they happy? If we're talking about a couple, right? Si estamos hablando de una parejita ahí, no sé, ¿qué les pasó? Todo era, you know, 
lovely, but later on, yeah, yeah, something happened, right? Were they happy? Fueron felices? Ellos, güey. Ok, really good. Recuerdan cuando les dije que si les preguntaban con did o con do, you have to answer with did or do. In this case, it's going to happen the same. If somebody asks you with where, you have to answer with where. Sure. If somebody asks you with was, you have to answer with was. Yep. Okay. Uh, tell me, Stephanie. Stephanie, you got a question? No. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no sir. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay, the same happened in this example. She was, she was rich. What's happened here? The question. Was she rich? Okay, esa no la vamos a traducir porque va a sonar raro en nuestro idioma. Así que, uh, let's continue. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, veamos mm -hmm. acá, students. Eh, if you want to add, you know, WH word, si quieren eh, agregar una WH word, pueden hacerlo, solo la agrega antes del verb be in the past. It's really simple. For example, angry. What does it mean, angry? Um, enojado. enojado. Oh. Yeah, yeah, enojado, enojado. Angry. Recuérdese que hungry, hungry with H. Es hambre. Yeah, es, hambre. es hambriento ahí. Pero también ustedes pueden decir starving, starving. 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 Es como ahí desesperado por comer, que ya anda muy hambriento. En este caso, angry, enojado, right? Like me. Okay, really good. Okay, for example, why was he angry? What does it mean? Yeah, yeah, really good. Porque estaba enojado él, right? Muy bien. Y luego ahí decimos a por qué. Why? The people is asking for something in a specific. Why? Where? Eh, this sounds really, you know, funny, but where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estabas ayer? Yeah, really good. Esa pregunta es muy común, así que vamos a jump out. <laughs> okay. Eh, we have this one. Uh, when was she nervous? ¿Cuándo estaba ella nerviosa? Yeah, really good. It could be, uh, ¿en qué caso podría estar ella nerviosa? In a date. That's so. Okay, really good. Thank you, Stephanie, in a date. Okay, something happened. Pero esto le pasa más a gentlemen, right? <laughs> Depend. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, continue with this. Okay, students, basically, uh, what you're going to do here is to add the WH word plus the verb in the past tense plus a subject plus a complement, right? Yeah, you got it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I got it. Really good. Okay, students, continue with this one. Okay, we have the question uh, with the past of B. We get some common questions that we're going to practice. And we have uh, this one. Okay, were you born in the U.S.? ¿Tú naciste en Estados Unidos? Okay, really good. Naciste. 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 Yeah, thank you. Remember, you have to answer with short answer yes, yes I, was. I was yes no i was i was ya está hablando de usted okay okay yeah really good okay continue with this one uh, somebody who helped me to ask these questions was your brother born in 1984 okay thank you yes or not Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he yes, was. He was. Okay, okay. Yeah. Really good. Okay, students, continue with this one. Where did your parents 
Intro. Intro. Okay, intro. Okay, intro. this is funny, right? But pero si se dice, it's a place. Okay. Yes, they yes, were. No, they no, were. They were. Okay, really good. Continue with this. Uh, we're gonna take this one, the last one. Somebody who helped me to read it, please. What city were they born in? Okay. They were born in Seoul. Okay, okay, yeah, really good. What about this one? When was he was born. He was born in 1985. Okay, students, now can you see the difference between the verb be uh, when you make a question in the WH word? You see the difference? Yes. Yeah. What is different? The answer. Para respuesta corta. Okay. Okay. Really good. La respuesta es corta. Eh, cuando nosotros solo preguntamos con el verbo to be, right? No tan eso. But when we ask with WH word, what happened? <gasps> Eh, debemos ser más específicos. Yeah, because the question is specific, right? Where, donde, when, cuando, what city. Why? Yeah, what city. ¿Qué ciudad? ¿Qué ciudad? ¿Qué ciudad? Lo demás que sí. Muy bien, really good. Okay, you got it? Yes, I got it. Yeah, really good. Okay, students, uh, we have the formula here. As I said before, you have W is word plus was or were plus subject plus a complement plus. Complement. Question mark. Question mark. Really good. Plus question mark. Question mark. Yeah. Question mark. No, it's Bruno Mark. No. Question mark. <laughs> question mark. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, students. Basically, we have the pronunciation of these uh, negative contractions. We have aren't, do you remember one syllable? Aren't, don't, weren't, weren't, can't. Two syllables. Doesn't, doesn't, wasn't, wasn't, didn't. didn't. Okay, we, ha we have to listen and practice. Okay, students, let's see. We're gonna go to the okay, okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, we're gonna go to the platform, right? And now we are gonna see an exercise with this uh, negative contraction. Please let's listen to this video. Hey everyone, in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner. Okay, students, we're going to listen again, right? These, um, you know, negative contractions. Please listen that things. Don't. Okay, okay. Can. Wait a like this. Weren't. Okay, Don't. Here, this is on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Yeah. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. 
they were wearing. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay, okay, really nice. You got it? You got it? Yep. Yes. Okay, so so. Okay, really good. Okay, let's see. In order, you know, to understand this, we're gonna practice this reading, right? Say this. Say this. Say this. Aaron. 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 This one. This one. Where? 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 This one. Can. 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 What about this? Listen. 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 As we can, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class, and we got this. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see, students. We're gonna listen and practice this, uh, you know, church dialogue, and I need somebody who helped me to read it. Who wants to try it? Yep. Who wants to read this dialogue? Okay, Tanya, go ahead. Thank you. They didn't eat dinner because they were weren't hungry. Yeah. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. There's aren't there swimming? They can swim. He was here yesterday, and he isn't here today. Okay, thank you, Tanya. Congratulations. You did it really, really nice. I like it. Thank you. Okay, you are really fluent, right? Thank you. Okay, Elsie, can you read the, this uh, paragraph, please? Elsie Gonzalez. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Yeah. Continue. Okay, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Yep. These aren't their swimsuits. They can swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, really nice. Thank you, Elsie Gonzalez. Really nice work. Okay. okay. I need somebody else. The last one who wants to read this one. No más fluido que se pueda. Eh? Try it. Me me teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, Stephanie Aviles. Okay. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Yeah. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These are their sweet. They came sweet. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, thank you. Really nice. Good. Congratulations. You did it good. Okay, students, unfortunately, you know, time going to run quickly. As you can continue with this. Okay, we have a conversation between Melissa and Chuck. Uh, these two guys, students, are really famous, right? Aparecen varios videos ahí en the platform. Así que son algo famosos. Okay, let's practice these conversations. I don't know how somebody who helped me to read it. Me, teacher. Yeah, Stephanie Rosales, really good. Somebody else. Okay, Tanya, nice. Okay, Stephanie Rosales, you will be Melissa and Tanya Chuck, right? Go ahead. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Yeah. I grew up in Texas. I was born there. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? 
drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hair stylist? Because I needed the money, the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... Okay, you're really nice. Thank you. Okay, ladies, really good job. Somebody else who helped me to read this conversation? You can do it. Don't be shy. You have to practice. Remember, I keep in mind. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Somebody else? Me. Okay, Reina, very good. Okay, Reina, you would be Melissa and Wilfredo Chuck. Go ahead. Sasha, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Yeah. In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Okay. That's interesting. So, why did you come a uh, her styler? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> okay, okay, really good. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfredo and Reina. Really good work. Okay, students, as you see here, we got a question. It is, it is in the present or in the past. Pass. Pass. Really good. Why? Oh, if, Why oh. it is in the past? For, yeah. It's unprecedented. Okay. You. Okay. It's unprecedented. The auxiliary did. Really good. Thank you. Okay. What about this one? Is this a sentence or, you know, a family sentence? Pass. 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 And bird is climb past hands. We are, we are. Yeah. yeah. What about this one? Present or past? Past. Oh, past. Yes. Verb is in past tense. Yeah, the verb is yeah. in past tense. Thank you. This one is a question, the past too, because of the. Yeah. Okay, what about this one? Present, yeah. past, or future? Past. 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 The past. When? Is when? When? Really good. Okay, students. Basically, as you see, we have question with did. We have question with was. And we have questions. Do. With do. In this case, did you remember that we were talking about this a few class ago? Como decir esto más fluido. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, okay. This do gonna sound like a little R. R. What do you think? Okay, what do you think? 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 Yeah, really good. Okay, uh, the last question will be how do you say this verb? Need it. Need it, need it, really good. Okay, congratulations. You are improving a lot. Okay, somebody else who wants to practice, students? You can do it, go ahead. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leticia. My teacher. Leticia, okay. Leticia and Flor. <laughs> Leticia, okay, Wilfredo, you know. Is uh, so for the next time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Leticia, you could be Melissa and Flor, you will be top. Go ahead. Okay. Such a where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did you come to Los Angeles? In nineteen ninety, I went to College here. 
Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That interesting. So what did you become? become? A hair, hair in stylist. Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... Hmm? Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Leticia and Flor. Okay, students, as you see, uh, we have this short conversation between Chuck and Melissa. Who is Chuck? This or this? Chuck. Black man. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's I need a uh, one couple, otra parejita, another couple, please. Hey, teacher. Okay, Fabiola, mm -hmm. I need somebody else who wants to practice. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Solo por eso, Fabricio, you will be Chuck and Fabiola, you will be Melissa. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 99, I went to college here. Uh, what, was, what, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, I like, and I love it. Look, what do and you the, think? Well, uh. okay, okay. <laughs> congratulations, you did it good. Okay, students, all of these expressions are really nice pronouns. That's amazing. Congratulations, all of you are really smart students. That's amazing. It's really easy to work with you. So that's why I'm gonna continue with this. We got the W question with did. Okay, basically students, uh, we're gonna try to make a feedback about this. Vamos a hacer un pequeño feedback. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have how to you know, make sentences and questions in the past tense. You can do it with, with was and were and with WH questions, right? Okay. With WH questions, remember if somebody asks you with WH question, probably is asking for a specific information. Yeah. For example, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? What does it mean? Where did you Donde crees que creciste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, uh, let me see. Uh, Rebecca, where did you grow up? I grew up in Soyapango. <laughs> okay, okay, really nice. Good. Okay, nice. Okay, students, now that you understand these questions, I'm going to have the second question. Okay, Rebecca. When did you come to uh, Soyapango City? I came to Soyapango City in 2000. Okay, really good. Nice. Okay, why did you become... Okay, okay. Uh, in these questions, students, we are talking about why about something, a profession of things. For example, uh, things that you have to do. In this case, Rebecca, what did you do? What did you do? Because I, I needed a study in the university. Okay, but, but before that, Rebecca, uh, did you, um, I don't know, 
a student or a nurse or a doctor. I don't know. I'm talking about the profession. Administrador de empresas, como This is a business administration. Business administration. Okay, Rebecca, why did you become a business administration? Because I needed money. <laughs> okay, okay, really nice. Thank you. And so on, right? Básicamente, cuando preguntamos con WH question, we are asking for the specific information, right? Okay, really good. Let's see. Uh, the formula is simple, right? W is more plus D plus subject plus verb in the present plus a complement plus the question mark. That's good. Okay, but now, students, it's time to know the difference between uh, past simple with WH word. ¿Qué pasa con la WH word? Nosotros podemos preguntar con did, WH word, o con where it was. Yeah. For example, where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? In this case, uh, what was your major in college? Uh, in this case, what does it mean? This question. ¿Cuál fue tu carrera en la universidad? Ok, ok, really good. Como tu carrera o lo que se desempeñaste. Es nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Ok, nice. As you see, students, we have did. In this case, we have was. Cuando preguntamos con was, estamos preguntando algo de cero. Esta. ¿Cuál fue? Aquí, solo, ¿dónde creciste? Right? In this case, it happened the same, right? We got was and were. And this is gonna happen. Okay, now students, I know the time, you know, is about to finish, but we have six minutes. Now we're gonna work together. Let's work together. And we have to ask this question as I did with Rebecca. Como lo hice con Rebecca. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? You have to answer. You have to ask each other first and then answer these questions. Tienen que preguntarse y luego contestar estas preguntas. ¿Cómo así? Como lo hice con Rebeca. Where did you grow up? Es, ¿dónde naciste? In my case, I grew up in Moncagua. Right? Moncagua. Ahí tengo mi ombligo. Ok, that's good. Ok. Uh, in this case, uh, when did you come to Moncagua? Is the place. Is the place. Moncagua. Una vez que me hayan dicho el lugar, tienen que preguntarle cuándo vino a ese lugar. In my case, it will be I came to San Miguel in 2015. It's an example, right? Okay, then we have this important question. What did you do? What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué era? Okay. ¿Qué hiciste? Okay, puede ser que hiciste, pero en este caso es, we are talking about uh, things to do, like a uh, job. ¿Qué es lo que hacía? ¿Qué hacía? In my case, I was a teacher. Right. He's a teacher. <laughs> Why did you become a teacher? Yeah, teacher. San Salvador. Yeah, yeah, really good. Because I love it and I need it the more. Okay, that's simple. <laughs> you got it? Um, yes. Okay, really good. You have to ask each other, students, tienen que preguntarse todas estas questions and answer them, right? Okay, ready? ¿Ya tomaron nota? Mm, no. No, did you? <laughs> okay, take note. Take una foto. Okay, yeah, or take a picture. Take a picture. Or a green chart, right? Yeah. Thank you. 
Go ahead. One minute. Yeah, yeah, it's ready. Okay, got it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, the general is, uh, you know, writing, still writing, that's okay. Okay, you finish? Yeah. Yeah, finish. Yeah, Fabricio? Yeah, okay, okay, very good, the students. Uh, we're gonna practice together these questions. Uh, we're gonna make groups. Uh, good luck. Good luck, students. Practice each other and don't die. Please support ourselves, right? Go ahead, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Yes, aquí si no lo copié. When did come, come up, come, come to, the, you come to, cabal. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. I come to Lourdes in 1995. 1995. 19, 19, ¿qué? 95. Ah, 95, ok, vamos. What did you do? What did you do? See? I was a international business. Bueno, este, we did you be, become um completely business. <laughs> because I like it and I love the the logistic and international commerce. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay. Wilfredo, where did you grow up? In Soyapango City. When did you come to Soyapango? Okay. Why did you become Zacateco uh, Luca? Why did you become a Zacateco Luca? Creo que en esa en esa pregunta no va eh, la ciudad o el lugar, sino que es como, como profesión o algo así. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, quiero preguntarte el what did you do? What did you do? Yeah. Uh, I was a industrial engineer. Engineer. No escuché bien. Okay, can you repeat it, uh, Reina? Reina, what do you do? Okay. Es que creo que se le va la señal. Yeah, yeah, that's happened to Reina. Maybe I like can practice with Fabiola. Okay. Te pregunto, Fabiola. Sí. Okay. Where did you grow up? Eh, hay que, I grew up, I grew up in Zacateco, Luca. Okay. When did you come to Zacateco, Luca? I came to Zacateco, Luca in 
Okay. What did you do? I was science as an engineer. Como? I was an industrial ingen engineer. How do okay. you say ingenier? ingeniero? Ingenier. Engineer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 What, what did you do with uh, engineer? How are you teaching? Why did you become business administration? Business? Mm. Business. Um, okay, Stephanie, I'm sorry. Engineer. <laughs> engineer. Engineer. Yeah, engineer. Okay, teacher. Continue practice. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Profession. Um, um, okay. And I needed money. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Okay, really okay. nice play this. Continue practice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Chalchuapa. Tierra del Tazumal. Yeah, church. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Okay, did you practice already? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Already. Okay, okay, really good. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna finish this activity. I see you there. Okay, okay, students. Um, everybody talk about money, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's, um, you know, that's our motivation, money. Okay, very good. Okay, students. Um, unfortunately, time is over. Les robé five minutes, pero espero no se enojen. Don't be mean, they're all right. <laughs> okay, Don't worry, teacher. Don't okay. worry, teacher. That's amazing. Okay, students, I like when you practice because you increase your knowledge, your fluency, and so on, right? That's amazing. Uh, unfortunately, time is over. I don't know if you have a question so far. Questions? No? No questions? Okay. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, student. Um, that's it for today's class. Thanks for coming and see you tomorrow. Please work on the platform. The final test. And yeah. Bye, teacher. Take care. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.